Hi, it's Jim at Atlantic British. I do the technical support here. We've had a few questions about doing ignition cables on Discovery 2, which we have here, or a P38 with the Bosch style engine. It's a bear of a job. Um, I'm just going to go through it pretty lightly today. Maybe you'll be able to understand why your shop is charging you a lot of money to do this, or why you may not want to do it yourself. We're going to step over here, and the first thing you'll notice, like these spark plug wires are buried down in here. And then they go back to the coil, which is buried down behind the engine. The only real way to do this job is to get this upper manifold out of here. Um, it's not that difficult. Basically, you're going to take the plumbing going to it off this way. There's like four bolts up here. There's a couple of water hoses that have to get out of the way. It might be a good idea to get the AC compressor out. Actually, if you're going to do that, it might be a good time to replace the belt, too. Once you get this out, you'll find the coil buried down and back. I have one on my old Rover over here I'll give you a, a look at so you can see what some of the problems are. If we go around to the other side, you can see the wires here. They go into loom, buried down into Never Never Land. When you're doing this job, there's a couple things you probably should get. Underneath the manifold, there's this gasket. It's a crush gasket. If you take it out, you should put a new one. Obviously, we stocked this part. What I wanted to point out with the ignition coil, when you get down in there, it's facing you like this. One of the hardest things to get done is getting the spark plug wires in place. I have a genuine wire here. It has a little spacer. It'll slide right down in there very nicely. The main thing you want to make sure with this job is this is secured in there. This is the genuine wire. These are $30 a piece. Kind of expensive just to get this little spacer. Here at Atlantic British, we like to give you alternatives. Um, actually, we do these coils here. That's an alternative. We sell the MagnaCore spark plug wire set. It's a very good set. A lot of hot rod guys use this company. The thing you have to notice on these wires, it doesn't have that little spacer. So when you're installing it, you have to make sure that this piece gets centered on that little pin in there. Otherwise, you could have a misfire and you won't fix what you're trying to fix to begin with. The MagnaCore set of wires here available at Atlantic British, it's $140 for the whole set of eight compared to $30, like I said earlier, for the genuine ones are $30 each. Get this all apart and get confused. I would recommend doing one wire at a time. Um, I get phone calls of people got everything apart and they can't seem to figure out where to put the wires. On our website, you can go to Rover's Resources under Discovery and you can find this diagram. Another little picture here I got. This is looking down on the back. That's what you're going to see once you get the manifolding off where the ignition coil is. There's another picture here that we could send you. It's a little more self-explanatory. You have to notice that this is viewed from the back if you were like sitting in a driver's seat looking at your ignition coils. I said we have everything you need to do this job here at Atlantic British. Check us out at roverparts.com. Give us a call at 1-800-533-2210. Check out our sales guys. They know all about this job and what you need to get to do the job. And as another thought, thinking about doing this job, if you take the manifold off, that's a perfect time to do your valve cover gaskets too. They're right there. And I've had a couple guys tell me it's actually easier to get the valve cover out to feed the wires around the back. So, it's a bear of a job. It's doable. If you got long, skinny micro fingers, you may be able to do it without taking it out. I can't do it. 
Follow us on Facebook, and we'll get you through fixing your rovers.